today I have to go back to a hospital. So my condition has deteriorated a little bit. And guys, there's something else. It, this is the weirdest thing. I, I don't even know if I should say it. I'll say it. I want to thank you all. What is up guys? It is Saturday, a very gloomy Saturday I will say and today I have to go back to hospital. So it's been a little over two weeks since my surgery. Actually on Tuesday was a week and today I actually have an appointment with my doctor, with my surgeon but I think it's just a checkup if everything did go well, if there's any other symptoms I guess. Hello! I guess I'm gonna be asked some questions. Here's one of you guys, hello. <laughs> And uh, yeah, hopefully everything is okay. I am feeling so much better going to the hospital today than I did the first time I actually had to go to hospital. I feel like everything is okay in actual fact. I do feel like everything is okay. Also today I'm going to be picking up all the documentation from my surgery, all the exams that I had, all the uh, blood panels, x-rays, all that stuff. Just so I have them on record and uh, yeah, it's going to be good to have. But yeah guys, let me know how you're doing in the comments down below. What are you doing this weekend? How are you feeling? I think this uh, GCQ is really about to come to an end. I've read some reports that from the 21st of October, we should be transitioning to a nationwide MGCQ, which would be really cool. So over the past few days, I've been getting so, so many comments, so many questions. What is the name of the insurance that we have? And the, the actual uh, insurance we have is from Safety Wing. And we, uh, we have two insurances, actually. The one is a digital nomad insurance, which costs around $80 per month for both Nelly and I. And it's really designed for traveling around a lot. When you're traveling, it's all good. But if you're living in one place specifically, it's uh, it's not the ideal thing. Uh, it's called the Nomad Insurance. As I said, it's eighty dollars per month, but the coverage is really good. The second one we have is also from Safety Wing, which is the Remote Health. Now the Remote Health is also designed for people that travel a lot, but it also covers you in your country of residence. So it's not just something that will help you when you get sick, or something that helps you when you get into an accident. It also is for Preventative medicine, going for regular checkups, um, having tests done, all that kind of stuff. So that's really good. I think it also includes dental, but both of these insurances are always linked in our description box because we actually are affiliates of them. So whenever you sign up for that insurance, we actually get a little bit of a kickback. So it's good for us, it's good for you because the insurance is really, really good. We'll have it in the description down below and in the uh, pinned comment so you guys can check it out or sign up for it if you need it. I can't believe it, I've already forgotten where I'm supposed to go. I think it's back here. Alright guys, I am all set. Just got finished at the doctor's office and after a short consultation, I can confirm that everything is okay. Uh, the surgery seems to have gone very well. Uh, there are no... I mean, there's still a little bit of a recovery journey for me. I can't go for my runs for at least another two weeks. Uh, but he did say, if I want, I can ride my motorcycle. As long as I don't do motocross, I can go for long walks. And I can also lift some weights as long as I'm only using my upper body, meaning arms, chest, back, and not my legs and my abdomen, I guess. So really good. I'm not gonna lift weights yet. I'm still gonna take a break from it. But the good thing is uh, I can start going for nice long walks, which will help me get into good condition again. And uh, yeah, so really, really good news. I'm really, really happy. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna collect all the receipts of the expenses that I had that weren't paid by the insurance and then I can file a claim online. Actually, I'm going to show you guys. I can just file the claim online 
submit it all to the insurance and hopefully get paid in a very short time i think it's around 200 dollars everything that i paid beforehand so yeah really good oh it feels so good to have that exam done and get the good news i'm happy wow check it out guys they just opened up a swap test area right next to our building that's cool hey nelly huh guess what what the doctor said i'm healing really really well yeah yeah good you know what he said what i can do <laughs> no, what? he says i can ride my motorcycle nice he says as long as i don't do motocross i'm okay okay but no running no, no running. running we have to wait two more weeks till i can go for runs okay. again <laughs> but he said everything else is a-okay good i'm really glad that you took your time um i know it was uh sometimes a little bit challenging things that you didn't see here on the vlog guys uh, was that we felt a little bit uh, slow um, in a sense that we were like mentally a little bit beaten up beaten right? down beaten down yeah yeah um, so we took our time to both <laughs> recover from the surgery <laughs> yeah and here's here's why i know that nelly loves me because whenever i feel bad it makes her feel bad as well so like when I'm down, she's down. When I'm sad, she's sad. Um, so he has to be happy that I'm happy. Exactly. <laughs> and I think there's actually like a, um, a term. There's like a special term. I'm sure psychologists, students will know what the term is. But there's a term for it. There's like a, a term. Yeah. So that's Because that's, we're soulmates. Exactly. You know? <laughs> exactly. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling really, really happy um, to... Because I felt very good yesterday already and it was just good to hear from a doctor that he says yeah yeah everything's good everything is good so i think it was a very new for you to be on such strong medication yes because we don't really use yeah. meds never any meds ba never. barely we self-medicate sometimes with alcohol <laughs> no with uh ginger pineapple yeah shots. with ginger That's yeah it. exactly oh my god we got to get back on that again yeah, we so have ginger and we have pineapple yeah we have I will make that's that why, for us that's now. That's why I ordered it. We have home remedies, so we try to uh, stick to home remedies as much as we can. So that's why I think you were really different from like mm. the meds. Um, yeah, it's kind of really interesting to see how it affects your yeah. overall you mental know? health. Not only like physically, that whole surgery yeah. was physically very challenging for you, but also mentally for both of us. Um, but I think we are doing better. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy. You now. know who else was really, really influenced by my surgery? Peanut. Peanut. Yeah. She was also beaten down by my yeah. surgery. She was very cuddly in the past yeah. few days. I think when before you went to the hospital, she sensed that something not, was not all right. So she mm. was really, really, really naughty. Yeah. So naughty that I was <laughs> angry every day. She yeah. was not cuddling with me at all. Um, but when you came back, she was cuddling a lot with you and yeah, yeah it was nice. All right, by the way, guys, I'm going to cover this up because Nelly is doing something very special right something, now. Something, something. very big, <laughs> something very big is coming next week. You guys are going to be really stoked. If you know, if you can guess. If you can guess what it is, please take a guess in the comments down below. But something huge is coming next week. Huge. Crazy huge. So big. Anyway, guys, I, I want to thank you all. I want to thank you all I want to thank you all for uh, being part of my whole journey of getting this fixed up and sorted out. I'm pretty much done and set. I have one more checkup in a month from now. But otherwise, I'm, I'm good to go. I'm good for, for new adventures. I'm ready to explore again and discover more of this amazing country. And uh, I'm excited. I feel like uh, a, big, a big stone has been lifted off my... How do you say There's a saying. I forgot it. Yeah, a big weight was, uh, yes, a huge weight was taken off my chest. And guys, there's something else. It, this is the weirdest thing. I, I don't even know if I should say it. I'll say it. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I woke up yesterday morning and I sat down behind my computer and I thought to myself, I'm ready. I'm ready to fulfill my lifelong dream of becoming a pilot. <laughs> Yes, I've, I've been wanting, at, at one point I was considering 
pursuing becoming a pilot as a profession to live off it. But I really, really, like, I, I made up my mind. I've been playing Microsoft Flight Simulator lately, uh, especially now during being sick. You know, I, I had to stay at home, so I, I played the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I, I, did, I made up my mind this year, or 2021, I want to pursue getting my private pilot license. And I want to do it here in the Philippines because there's supposed to be some amazing flight schools. But if you guys know any really good flight schools, if you have friends that have the private pilot's license that can give me recommendations of like how much it costs and where I can do it, please do let me know in the comments down below or better yet, head on over to uh, Making It Happen vlog on Instagram and send me a message. I want to do this. I want to do this and I want to get started as soon as the whole uh, community quarantine is over. I want to start uh, setting things in motion to get my private pilot's license. So please help me in finding out how to do it. Um, in any case, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I hope you are as happy as I am that uh, this whole drama is behind me finally. <laughs> uh, I want to say one more time a huge thank you to all the uh, doctors and nurses and helpers at the Makati Medical Center for doing such a great job. A huge thank you to my doctor, my surgeon, to the anesthesiologist, to the resident doctor. Everybody has been so great, and yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be, I'm happy to be healthy. You only remember to appreciate health once you don't have it, and yeah, this has been very evident. Peanut, anything you would like to add? Nope. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Remember to stay awesome, be positive, and make it happen. Bye-bye. They told us only play the hits Cause we'll need a soundtrack As we wander through the barren west And we knew we weren't alone In this life